Now I find this little box really interesting. It's very simply made. And if you look close, you can see that it's uh, nailed together on the sides. It has simple hardware. I guess they're brass. I don't really know. But the handle is well, functional and the latch is very simple. Here's a picture of the side and you can see the construction. The boards are cut and nailed together. Here's the back of the box and here's a closer look at the hinges. You can also see the nails holding the boards together and when I lifted the lid this is what I saw and I'm not 100 percent sure of what this is but after looking at it a while I think that this is a portable spark gap transmitter that somebody made. Right up front on the ridge of the box those three screws there are actually battery connections that go down into the box. Then the two terminals up from there they go to the inner coil and the spark gap and I've got pictures of the bottom side of this and you can flip it back and forth and see those wires and where they go and then the two terminals all the way at the top they go to the outer coil which is where that highest energy would be which I think that would be the ground and the antenna. Here's the top of the box and you can see that somebody has drilled out uh, three insets so uh, when the top of the box is closed uh, it will lay flat. Here's another look at the top of the transmitter and the next picture is uh, the bottom view of this and you can switch back and forth between these two and see exactly where the terminals and the wires are connected. Here's a closer look at those battery connections up front and one of the battery uh, terminals. I think it's interesting that the the battery connections are labeled 0, 1, and 2. Unfortunately there's just not much labeling uh, on this item. Whoever of course built the thing knew uh, what each terminal and what each connection was for. Here's a look at the inside of the box and I'm sure you've noticed uh, uh, the roughness of the wood on the inside of this unit. Here's a view from the back side and here's a look at it from the end and you can see that it looks to me like whoever built this thing made as much of it as possible because that core I'm sure that they made that also cutting wire iron wire and laying them together to make a core for the coil. And here's the other side. This little homebrew project has been around for a while and if it uh, turns out that it's not a portable spark gap transmitter I still won't be 
disappointed because this is I think a neat little item I have no idea when it was made the parts seem to be fairly early and the construction is very simple but very functional 